Hey everybody, it's how I went to be retro. Today we'll be taking a look at migrating a VirtualBox VM to ESXi. So the first thing we need to do is shut down the VirtualBox VM if it's running. Next we're going to go to the settings of the VM and find the path to the VDI file that it's running. We're going to copy that path into Notepad for use later. Now we're going to start a command prompt as administrator and change directory to the VirtualBox installation directory. We're going to use the VBox manage command to clone the VDI file into a VMDK that ESXi can read. One of the arguments for the VBox manage command is the path to the VDI file that we want to clone. So we'll grab that out of notepad and paste it in here. And we need to give a path to the VMDK file that we're going to create. This process will take several minutes depending on the size of the source VDI and the speed of the hard drive. Once the clone process is complete, launch the ESXi web UI and log in. At this point we're going to create a virtual machine as normal, so right click virtual machines, create. Give the new VM a name, set the OS family and version. Select the data store where we're going to store this VM. Here we want to delete the hard disk that's automatically created. Click Next, and then Finish. Click Virtual Machines, and then select the newly created virtual machine. Click Edit at the top. Now we're going to add hard disk, existing hard disk. Select the data store on the left where we stored the VM, and then the VM name folder. Click Upload. Navigate to the VMDK file that we exported earlier, select it. The upload process will take several minutes depending on the size of the VMDK file. Once the upload completes, select the VMDK file, click select. Click the save button to save the changes to the VM configuration. With the VMDK attached to the VM, power on the virtual machine and verify that it boots and is working as expected. 